Izuku sighed softly as he ran his hand tirely through his hair, biting his lip while his ever-so-complicated brain shot thoughts through his mind like a speeding river, muttering softly to himself while he walked with Uraraka and Ida. Um, Deku? You alright? You're going off again. Uraraka cut into him after a moment, Izuku jumping as he snapped himself back into the present. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm... Oh gosh, hide me! He cut himself off as his eyes darted off to the side, his face turning a flaming shade of red as he ducked behind Ida. His two friends jumped in surprise, glancing over curiously at whatever had gotten their friends so terrified. Your smiling, attractive face simply stared back at them, earbuds in and humming softly, escaping your lips. Ida raised a brow at Deku, Uraraka still staring curiously at your oblivious self. I was not aware they were rude to you. They seem like a rather happy person, he said curiously, Midoriya shaking his head quickly. No! No, they're nice, they're wonderful, he assured, Ida raising a brow. Then why? You neared them, cutting him short. Uraka waved a knowing smile on her face. Hey there, she called happily. You smiled as you neared. Hey, Uraraka, you called back, pulling out your earbuds. Izuku hiding further behind Ida, his face heating drastically at the sound of your voice. How are you and Ida? You asked, both yourself and Ochako making small conversation before you glanced around curiously. Where is... um... where is Deku? He's... uh... he's usually with you guys, right? Uraraka grinned slyly, skipping around Ida and motioning for him to help drag Deku out from his hiding spot. Oh, he's right here! She cried happily. Izuku shaking his head rapidly as his cheeks flushed further pink. You blinked in surprise, Deku freezing as he made eye contact. Oh! Uh... Uh, hi, you said softly, with a small wave, growing quieter. Izuku managed a small smile, his entire face a deep crimson by this point. Hi, he managed softly his arms coming up to instinctively half-hide his face in embarrassment and his fluffy hair sliding over his eyes. You chewed your lips ever so slightly, your cheeks being brushed over with pink as you both lingered in an awkward silence that neither of you really wanted. However, neither knowing what to say. Bakugo clicked his tongue with an impatient roll of his eyes, still watching the pathetic sight before him. Uraka saved the two love-struck idiots from staring stupidly at one another by striking up conversation with you. At least she knew what was happening between the imbeciles. I almost can't watch anymore. It's getting so... pathetic, he grumbled, Karishima glancing over at him curiously. What? Midoriya again? he asked with almost exasperated sigh. Uh, not just stupid Deku, that other freaking idiot too. They were made for each other with how frickin' stupid they are, he grumbled to cover up the slight hint of pity he felt. I'm feeling humiliated just watching them. Kiri raised a brow, his gaze moving to watch the others as well. They both like each other, right? He asked, Bakugo rolling his eyes once again, shaking his head as Izuku nearly tripped over his own foot in an attempt to stand discreetly closer to you. Katsuki cursed slightly under his breath, not being able to take them anymore. It was like watching a wounded animal trying to pull itself to an oasis in the middle of the desert and giving up halfway through. And apparently I'm doing this, he growled softly to himself as he began walking forward. And where are you going? Karishima called in slight alarm. To fix this. I'm done with suffering through it. Make them actually act for once, he answered sharply, Karishima looking confused for a second. Fix? Oh! Oh! But do you even know how to flirt? He called back, Bakugo growling. Shut up! He snapped over his shoulder, hiding the fact that he hardly knew where he was going with this. Karishima barked a laugh. 
<laughs> oh, what's your plan? Set your arm on their shoulder with some dumb pickup line like, Hey, you interested in kabooms? <laughs> he chirped, trailing loosely after the blonde. Kuh. Shut up, dumb hair. He grumbled, simply, the miracle of a slight tint of pink brushing across his cheeks in frustration. Kutsky sauntered over to the others in his usual slouch, his mind looping cursed phrases that weren't fit to repeat in his head as he did so. Conversation came to an abrupt halt as he moved up next to you, with a glare down at you, his heart nearly stopping in his own stupidity with this plan as you turned. Damn it. His thoughts were cut short as you raised a brow, beginning to speak with caution. Uh, hey, Bakugo? He narrowed his gaze with another glance at Deku, who'd shrunken away from you at his appearance. Fed up, frustrated determination filled his chest again and he clenched his jaw, turning sharply back to you and realizing you were stuck in an awkward silence. He glanced back at Kirishima, his body working before he could think and setting his arm on your shoulder. He mentally kicked himself as you stiffened instinctively at the notion, mainly because Bakugo didn't just do that. Hey, you, uh, interested in kabooms? He muttered. He could see Kirishima keeling over in the corner of his vision, fighting to keep his laughter silent while you furrowed your brows in confusion. Uh, what? Katsuki thinned his lips and glared off to the side to avoid your gaze. Uh, never again, he vowed. What are you doing here with these idiots? He said instead, his mind thinking fast. Izuku stared in petrified shock at Bakugo, his mind racing as his eyes darted between the two of you. His eyes lingered on the arm that was leaning against your shoulder, thinning his lips at the sight. Bakugo just didn't just do that. He stared up at the spiky head grump while his scarlet eyes were stuck intensely on you, feeling his own face grow hot. He can't seriously be doing what I think, can he? Can't even do that? Izuku thought in panic, overanalyzing the situation. Bakugo glanced at him out of the corner of his eye, narrowing his gaze slightly and sliding closer to you. Izuku felt a flare of something hot and unfamiliar burn at his chest. He knows. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows I like them. His lips thinned and his brows creased as Bakugo continued to talk quietly with you, leaning forward to murmur softly in your ear and causing you to shiver. You looked purely uncomfortable and completely unsure of what was happening. Izuku tightened a fist. Bakugo slid his arm around your shoulders, hunkering closer, and Izuku finally snapped. He stepped forward briskly, glaring fiercely at Bakugo while he looped an arm around you to yank you away from him. You yelped slightly in startlement, your face reddening deeply as you glanced down at your arms. D Deku? You stammered softly, Izuku's determination keeping him from collapsing onto the ground in embarrassment. Hey, he said swiftly, staring you directly in your eyes despite his soft blush. Would you like to go out with me? He continued, before he could realize exactly what he was saying. I... I really like you. I have for a while. It may seem that I'm trying to avoid you, but really it's because I... I I've admired you for so long and I'd be more than grateful if you... you... um... like to... um... Yeah. There was a stunned silence as most of them stared at him in complete shock. Bakugo with his usual passive hatred and frown, Izuka continued to stare at you while your mouth gaped for words for a second or two before you nodded, your cheeks a deep crimson by this point. Y yeah, you agreed in a squeak, 
An amused grunt from Bakugo pulled both of your attentions back to him quickly. Finally! He said triumphantly, with exasperation and a hint of relief flashing across his face for a split second. I'm done here, he added, turning with an arrogant wave and Izuku feeling his face heat. You were planning that this whole time? Uraraka called after him, Bakugo flipping Deku off without turning around as he walked back to Kirishima. Not my fault they're both ignorant mice, he yelled back, Kirishima shaking with laughter. <laughs> mice? He spoke with a chuckle. Shut it! Go do whatever gross couple thing you want and frickin' kiss already, Bakugo added back to Izuku and Yu, his palms sparking before he shoved them in his pockets to saunter away. Midoriya felt himself blush like he never had before at the statement, ducking his head to hide behind his hair as Yu giggled softly. <laughs> uh, I swear I will never understand him, Yu muttered, shaking your head after a moment and nudging Izuku with your shoulder. But hey, we have a date to plan, right? Izuku nodded quickly as he looked to you, still flustered by Bakugo's statement. Yeah, yeah. Date! Uh, can I pick you up at seven on... on Friday? He stuttered, not being able to believe the words that were coming out of his mouth were real. You beamed at him happily as you nodded. Friday at seven, you agreed, before blushing even harder and looking towards the ground. And... just a little something, you said moving forward quickly and placing a small quick kiss on his burning cheek before quickly letting go of his arm. See you on Friday, Deku! You called as you already ran towards your next class. <laughs>